your need for speed experience is rooted in today's urban car culture. Your garage is where the magic happens. Make iconic cars your own with the most authentic customization in Need for Speed history. Take a car from stock to stock plus awesome in a blink of an eye. Or you can enjoy near limitless options to spend hours creating automotive art. Visually customize your ride with the hottest aftermarket brands, including Rocket Bunny, Sabin Carbon, and Rauvelt Begriff. Equip the world's wildest parts to build your one-of-a-kind masterpiece. From side skirts to spoilers, fenders to wing mirror, tires, rims, and much more, almost every area of the car is available for you to craft. Once you're done with the parts, Need for Speed's brand new wrap editor will give you everything you need to let your imagination run free. Easily select from a range of options to create your perfect paint job. From changing the hue and saturation to getting that matte black finish you've always wanted, the wrap editor also comes with a huge variety of decals. Select graphics from leading brands or choose from a range of shapes and patterns that show off your creativity on each area of the car's bodywork and windows. Move, rotate, and scale to turn simple shapes into a multi-layered masterpiece. You have the power to create a vehicle that expresses your personality. Performance upgrades let you max out the potential of your cars. Beef up your engine to increase your horsepower, acceleration, and top speed. Switch out parts from your camshaft to your clutch, from your suspension to your ECU, from your nitrous to your turbo. Personalized handling lets you find that perfect setup. Move the master slider between drift and grip or tune individual settings. Change tire pressures, downforce, steer range, brake bias, and more to set up your ride exactly how you like. Want a drift focus ride? No problem. More grip? You got it. Go deep and tune your vehicle's handling for specific events. Play your own way in your own one-of-a-kind car and unleash your personality on Ventura Bay. Hey guys, what is going on? This is the GTA Watch Guy, and in this video I've got another breakdown of the Need for Speed 2015 trailer, the cars and customization one that you guys have just seen there. So I'm going to be breaking it down bit by bit, showing you guys all of the new cars and all of the new stuff to do with the performance and handling tuning and whatever else might crop up. So the first thing that we get to see is the E92 BMW M3. So it's got a massive wing, a body kit and some livery on there. We see the Mustang and the Huracan there, just pictures. But we also get to see another confirmed car here, which is the Mark 1 Golf GTI. Now that does look awesome. It's got sort of a Bozo kit on it and there's some 1552 livery that looks cool. We also get to see the, I think it's the Cayman GT4 Porsche. Uh, not a massive fan of it myself, but oh my god, that wing looks ridiculous. And also we get to see a Mustang here again as well that we've seen previously. That looks pretty awesome. And we also get to see a stock Sylvia and then, oh my god, the amount of customization that you can do to cars is proved in that little switch there. The, uh, the body kit, the artwork on it and everything, the wrap is just absolutely awesome. And we also get to see the 2015 Mazda MX-5. We did see some concept art of some like body kits for this a while ago from Bin Bryn Albin. So we can also see different features from the wrap editor in action here, like moving it, rotating it, scaling it, flipping it, changing the color, adding the decal. And we've also got a complexity bar at the bottom there, which will probably reward us with some rep, uh, the more complex it is. So the trailer focuses on the three different things, the visual customization with the paint and wrap, the handling tuning, and actually the performance upgrades on your car. So we get to see another car in game here for the first time, which is the Nissan GTR. It's actually got a Sabin carbon hood on it, Sabin and a Rocket Bunny there, some of the main actual customization options for your car. We can see the Golf GTI in game there on the streets of Ventura Bay. That does look awesome. And we can also see the old Mazda MX-5 getting customized in the garage. Now it does look pr absolutely amazing. Like we can see there's a, uh, what is it, a soft top roof there, and uh, that can be changed to a hard top. So we could just say, oh my god, the amount of customization is ridiculous. We can see on the right there as well, the Volvo S60, I believe it is. That's the first time that we have seen it in game, driven by that guy called Carlos. Uh, I cannot wait to customize that car. And we also get to see the MX-5 without any wrap on after it's been customized, the 2015 one. That looks immense. 
Uh, it does look pretty similar to the concept art that we seen a while ago, just some few little changes. And also we get to see the Dodge Viper in game for the first time. And this is where they are actually changing the paint of the car so you can go from a really like chrome black to a satin black if you really wanted to. And also we can see loads of different things that you can change in the wrap editor. So you can change your logo type, you can change all the characters and stuff. And actually you can have like just white logos and change colors on some of them if you want to. That is something that we couldn't really do in Forza. And that was kind of annoying if you just want white decals on your car, which I'm sure a lot of people do. And there's loads of patterns and different stuff like that. So if you wanted to, you could put like a tiger pattern on a car to make it look like, look like the Hoonicorn, I suppose, if you wanted to. There's complex shapes. And obviously, of course, on the left, there, I think that's just these simple shapes that you could put onto the car to make your own shapes. And there's oh, the, the amount of customization is ridiculous. So it does look like you apply the wrap to different parts of the car. For example, you do the bumper and then the hood and then the side of the car. Uh, I would sort of like to see it cross from one part of the car to the other, but I imagine there'd be some problems with the texturing on that side of things. But we can also see how the different, how you can sort of move around and navigate the de decals on the car. You've got an arrow to show which way up it is. You've got the bounding box for it. And we can also see the Focus RS in game here with a blue and white livery. Got a white body kit, a spoiler on it as well. And now we're just going to look at the performance upgrades for the first time. So we do get some photographic representations of all the different parts of the car that we're changing. And we also get all of these stats at the top, like the important ones, like the 0-60, the quarter of a mile, the top speed, the horsepower. And for example, when you're changing the engine block, you can see how it's sort of changing them individually on the right hand side on the specs. So like how much you're shortening it by on the 0-60, 0-100. But then you've got your stats at the top to show you exactly how much it's changing them to what it will be the, the sort of new stats i suppose and also if we see the nitrous system there if you upgrade that that will be a time refill nitrous bonus sort of thing but i imagine different upgrades will be like different sort of bursts and like how powerful the bursts are that sort of thing and the handling style oh before i get onto the handling style we can see the honda civic ek9 that is a new confirmed car that we haven't seen previously uh they've put it you can put in a Civic to drift which is really confusing me because it's a front wheel drive I don't know if you'd be able to swap it out or if you can just drift it front wheel drives a bit weird But yeah, we can also see it out in the canyons there, a new section of the canyons We haven't seen before some very windy roads. That looks pretty awesome. I can imagine drifting down there would be pretty cool And also it looks like we're gonna have names for the different sort of racetracks So like this one's called horses for courses and then you've got other ones like talk of the town You've got transfusion and just cool little things that the change into the game, like you've got the sort of rep logo next to your points now as well. And we get to see the Drift Club Zilla MX-5 there, ready to join the other guys that are racing by. And yeah, that is pretty much all for this breakdown, guys. There's tons of stuff in this trailer, and I am getting super excited for this game. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all for this video. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to make sure to keep up to date with Need for Speed. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,